really feel like the Villar and I have been through a bit of an adventure today, really seeing what this new vehicle can do out in the open roads, but now back home. As I step out of the Range Rover Velar after what has been a most rewarding and exhilarating drive, again, I'm struck by its home good looks. The profile for me really communicates this real balance between sportiness and refinement. And the way that waistline beautifully connects the front light design all the way through to the rear. Harmony. Now, one of my favorite parts on the design front is the integrated spoiler here on the roof that finishes that floating roof line so nicely. Now, the R-Dynamic styling continues with the exhaust treatment right here, the way it is integrated into the bumper. Very, very stylish. Now, when I pop the trunk using the optional gesture tailgate, there's a handsome amount of luggage space, 34.4 cubic feet, according to the stats. Now, I'm a skier, so this is very useful. Right down here in the middle, you have the ski flap. Now, the exterior looks really do disguise its generous interior proportions. The Velar is bigger than it looks. And the seats, they can be folded flat, expanding the space still further to accommodate 70 cubic feet of cargo. Now, the easy loading switch over here, I really like. You just push the button, very convenient, and the air suspension will lower the Velar down so it makes it easier to load items into the cargo area. I just moved house. I could have done with it then. Couldn't have been easier. So now this is a really nice feature if you live an active lifestyle like I do. It is the optional activity key. So whether you're snowboarding, skiing, cycling, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about losing your keys. You just put on the wristband and here you go, it's locked. Looking at the Villar, its sleek design really echoes my feelings about the vehicle. It's incredibly capable and incredibly composed. I just love it.